What do you think is missing in today's business? I mean, do you do you look at it and just when you watch some of the matches today from the independents that you're watching, so what do you, what do you think uh, that one element or however many elements are missing? Realism. I mean, when I was a kid, and everybody likes to say, I mean, everybody likes to say this shit, but but it's true. Jake the Snake DDT you, you go get a sandwich. It was over. You know, you, you don't have that anymore. You don't have, you know, if Goldberg hit the spear, jackhammer, done. If um, Hogan dropped the leg, uh, I mean, and people say, oh, well, all that's, you know, it, it was it was hokey. It's, it's not as entertaining as it was believable. Now, it was, it was professional wrestling, mm -hmm. but it was believable, and a kick out of somebody's finisher used to mean something. I remember, who was it? Ah, oh, I can't remember the details, but somebody gave Nikita Koloff a pile driver and he stood straight up, cranked his neck. I was probably 10 years old. I was like, holy shit, it's king of the world. You know, n nothing, nothing means nothing anymore. Everybody's just move after move after move after move after move, kick out, kick out. Kick out. Move, move, move. Kick out. Roll up. One, two, three. People, I get so frustrated when I go to independent shows and, and guys are like, oh, maybe with a roll up or maybe, you know, maybe with a school. But there's time and place for that. But when you go to football games, you go to see what? Touchdowns. Mm -hmm. When you go to basketball games, you go to see dunks. When you go to baseball games, you go to see home runs. When you go to wrestling, you go to see finishing moves. Mm -hmm. Finish people with finishing moves. I think we're missing that. When you're out there on the indies, man, and you're, you're really struggling, I guess, well, some people struggling, mm -hmm. how, how hard is it, would you say, uh, out there on the independents these days for, for most guys? Because a lot, a lot of guys say it's great. A lot of guys are making some really good money. Yeah, right guys now. are doing well right now. It, it's changed, and, and, and the reason it's changed is because of social media. A lot of these guys are able to get themselves over and become – more known to the fans before they ever get to the building strictly based on their social media abilities. I mean, you've now got guys that have thousands and thousands of social media followers, right? right. That um, where even as little as five years ago, six years ago, it wasn't used the same way. You go into a building and nobody knows who you are, right? But now I go into a building in, in Florida, even though I don't wrestle in Florida, uh, Social media wise, everybody knows who you are before you get there. They're lined up to buy your T-shirts. They're lined up to buy your eight by tens. Um, you know, and travel's easier now than it used to be. Cars are more efficient. Better guys' mileage. Guys are carpooling. Guys are doing okay on the indie scene. During that time that you held the NWA championship, um, what were your feelings? I mean, I don't. I mean, the 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 pride you must have felt just winning the title, first of all. But I mean, as you held it and as you started dealing with guys like, uh, I guess Bruce Thorpe was mm -hmm. was the president, and, and whoever else was was James Beard. James Beard, who uh, you know is a is a legend, absolutely yes. in Texas, and and the ultimate professional. Uh, I have a lot of respect for James. He's helped me so much in my career. But to be an, an NWA World Champion. Um, for me, it's the, the top of the food chain. Just the lineage that that title holds, man. I mean, you know, I, I signed a, a short-term deal with Ring of Honor at one point, and, and I put together a promo for them. And it's funny, Kevin Kelly, I, I was just doing some stuff with Kevin a minute ago, and he told me, his, I think he said, and, and I don't want to misquote him, but one of the top three, that promo I cut was one of the top three downloaded promos they've ever had at Ring of Honor. But in that promo, they wanted me to um, elaborate and, and basically put over the NWA world title. And when I really started thinking about what that entails and the guys that have held that from, from, I mean, you don't have to say the names, but Flair and Funk and, and even the modern guys, guys like Adam Pierce, who I think Adam never truly got the mainstream credit he deserved. Oh. Adam Pierce is one of the very best professional wrestlers that's ever laced his boots. And um, a better human being than he is a wrestler, I believe. And, um, you know, AJ Styles, Carino, even some of the modern guys, Kojima, Tenzin, Conway was special for me. Um, 
you know, those guys, um, to, to have my name in the record books with those guys and to know that uh, so many of those guys had a, a hand in my career helping me and pushing me and teaching me, it, it means a lot to me personally. Thank <laughs> you.